feel like I'm so puffy today, and I don't know why that is. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just getting chunky. Anyways, so I went through a, a phase of I just want to feel what my body feels like. I don't want to do everything that they're wanting me to do. I want to try new avenues. I want to see because it was to the point where I was ready. I was ready to cross over, and or so I thought. <clears throat> and I'll never forget this. I, I called my Aunt Mona in Nashville, and I said, I thought it was time, but it's not. Like, he's telling me it's not. And I said, I'm suffocating, and I don't know what to do. And I just decided in that moment that I'm going to have to do something, right? Like, if he wants me to be here, and I haven't fulfilled my purpose, then I can't quit. <clears throat> so that means I have to figure this out. And so I just tried everything, just trying everything, ev everything and anything I could to get through it. And I will say this, I'm going to tell you this, I've never felt better. <laughs> I know it's crazy because I'm in a hospital and hooked up to 24 hour meds. And, but whatever I went through was 100% supposed to be. God's like, yeah. And now my meds are done. Um, it is. I'm spiritually stronger, and I know that I'm not complete. I don't know that I ever will be, or we're supposed to be. We're supposed to constantly grow and change and be uncomfortable and put ourselves in situations, but we're not supposed to be where I was, <clears throat> allowing these other outside sources to take you somewhere they should, shouldn't. <clears throat> so working on not being offended, working on not being reactive, <clears throat> working on all of those things and sticking to the path and sticking to the spirit, no matter what comes in your force, your field force, your force field. I think that that's what I was really searching for. And I got off all of those meds. I was on Xanax, Ambien, Gabapentin, Rimron, Zoloft. They were just feeding me things to keep me in this world <clears throat> because I was so down and they did work but when I moved here I didn't want to continue doing that so instead I went to the beach so instead I went for a walk <clears throat> I slowly started weaning myself off and then again in January I just said you're out of here <laughs> all of it done I don't take any of it I don't even take anything to sleep anymore and it was a hard journey and then in, in that journey my physical self went Phew. But now we just worked on it. So now I have both. And I really, really hope and pray that everything goes up from here. <clears throat> so I want to say thank you. A long 10-minute spiel um, to say thank you because I've been fighting this battle. <clears throat> and I've been fighting it. And also trying to maintain a life and keep art alive. Through all the struggles that life has because someone's trying to take it from me and I don't want it to be taken and take it from you and take it from the world <clears throat> and God has given me a gift a beautiful gift and I'm not gonna let you take it away Satan I'm not gonna let you not today Satan someone told me a good friend last April we were on the beach and she said not today Satan not today and I looked at her like, I love that. Yes, like, no, get out of here. Not today. So, <clears throat> thank you for the funds. I'm going to keep them going for a bit, just because you guys are still giving, and I don't really know what's going to happen. But as soon as I get home, my plan is to slowly, my doctor said slowly, start getting back into things start going for walks get in the studio when i'm ready and i'm going to until i get out of here i'm not going to stress about it but i'm gonna reevaluate and see what's going to work best for my health and also be able to keep the art alive so you guys have kept both of those alive you did it wasn't me i've been doing my stuff here with the nurses but you guys allowed for me to not lose my home and to not lose my body, and they are both still alive. So thank you. And I love you all, honest. With 
every single piece and fiber in me, I have gratitude.